Well, hey there, it's Scott the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a couple of brand new presets I've created for the new XMG300 that focus in on the sounds of Led Zeppelin, more specifically the song Heartbreaker, which is a particular favorite of mine. Now, this was a little more complicated than I had originally anticipated, but through some experimentation and a little bit of patience, I came up with something that I think you're gonna really dig. Let's get to it. Okay, we're looking at the new XMG300 from two different vantage points, one from the screen of the unit itself and one from the Quicktone editor as well, so you can get the best of both worlds. Additionally, I'm using a Telecaster type guitar with a single coil pickup in the bridge position and everything's pretty much turned up to 10. So in any case, uh, let's get to the editing. Um, I've worked all the way, I'm already in edit mode and I'm gonna go from left to right so you can see how everything is set up in this preset and there's two of them to go through so we gotta we gotta move fast here so uh first and foremost on the front end of the rhythm uh, let's just give you a quick example of what it sounds like so pretty close to the record maybe a little more overdriven than it was on the record but still i think it sounds pretty decent um, we have a little bit of compression here, and I mean just a tiny little bit. It's just to kind of even out the dynamics. Moving to the right, I chose to work with the exotic AC Boost. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using very little gain. And if I go to the second page, you can see that I'm using more treble than bass. So it, it's kind of ipso facto a, uh, a treble booster. Uh, now, as far as the amp goes, we don't have the amp that was used on the actual recording, which as I've come to understand was a Rickenbacker amp. Um, so I opted to go with a Vox AC30 in this case, and uh, as you can see, the gains turn pretty much all the way up, the levels there, the cuts cutting back, and as far as the EQ goes, uh, I'm using uh, a lot more treble than bass. Uh, so the cabinet though, I chose to go with the Celestian uh, Vintage 30s. Uh, I think that I got a better sound out of that than and the other ones. Um, and as far as the microphone goes, I'm working with the E906, the dynamic mic, and it gives me a really nice sound. Now, in addition to that, I also popped on an equalizer just so we could introduce a little more nasal uh, tone to the overall sound. Because if you listen to the recording, it is a pretty nasal tone. So I'll move to the right here. Now, the next thing is, of course, a noise gate. Uh, I definitely recommend using one because that's without the noise gate, especially if you're working with single coil pickups. That's a much better way to go, don't you think? Um, let's move to the right. I'm not using any modulation in this case, but I am using a little bit of delay. Now, this is where I took a bit of a liberty because I wanted to just bring a little more uh, stereophonic RListic capabilities to this particular preset. And I think it just fills it out a little bit more and you can almost barely hear it. And that's the idea which then feeds into finally a plate reverb. And from that, you get something that, and it's got a very little delay and very little mix. So I'm being very, very careful with it because I don't want to go overboard. So not only Heartbreaker, but if you wanted to use it for like say communication breakdown, or maybe use it for a whole lot of love. It really just depends on you. And before we move on to the next preset, just know I will put a link in the video description so you can grab these presets for yourself. Now let's move on to the lead tone. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the lead sound. Now in this case, it's a lot more brittle and it's definitely boosted a lot more so it can actually be a bit on the harsh side. Not really great for chords, but just to give you an idea. I can't play the lick, I can't play the whole so, trust me. You don't wanna hear me try to attempt that. So in any case, let's just go ahead and get to it. Uh, in this case, I'm opting to go with the same settings on the compressor. Uh, but in this case, uh, instead of AC boost, I went with the morning drive uh, as my uh, overdrive. And in this case, I did turn the drive all the way up and the tone is turned all the way up and the levels turned at about 75%. And it gives you a really gritty sound. Moving to the uh, amp. Now this is where I went the other direction where I went through, I went to a Marshall uh, 1987. I think it sounds really decent for this particular preset, um, but I did stick with the, uh, I did stick with the 
uh, vintage 30s, the classic 30s, the Celestians. And I also stuck with the same microphone as well. But it does cut through really well as far as like playing a high note. <laughs> Sounds okay with a with a chord, but I wouldn't I wouldn't play too many chords with it. Um, but uh, let's move on. Uh, a little bit of EQ, just a tiny tiny little bit. And as far as the noise gate, yeah, you, you definitely want a noise gate. Uh, now here's where I took another liberty: is I went with a pan delay, and the pan delay is again just to create a little more. Uh, fill in the blanks a little bit more on the empty space because if you listen to Heartbreaker, there, there's that empty space in the solo that's just, it's just silent, you know? Where you're just like laser beam focused on the guitar sound itself because it's the only thing you're hearing. So I think uh, a little delay might not be a bad idea, but you can see that the feedback is turned pretty much all the way down. So you're just getting like one reflection. The time is set up so it's like a slapback almost. And uh, it's set up to uh, post mode. And um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's pretty effective. And then finally, I rounded off with using a room reverb for this case. And as you can see, I turned the tone all the way up so the reflections are actually a lot brighter than a reverb normally would sound. Um, and it's just mixed a little bit, but there's a lot more decay on it. Again, it's about filling those empty spaces. So, so if you're just trying to play that pull up, but if you go back to the original preset, Totally different sound. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you dug it. If you have any questions, do use the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.